Hi, this is Bradford Heap with uh, Salt and Colterra Food and Wine. And uh, just a few words on how our restaurant is doing right now. It's doing pretty well. We've uh, experienced, um, I think, a little bit of, of growth over the uh, holiday period and then just coming into the first quarter. Uh, our numbers are really good. I think uh, the economy coming back, I think people are more willing to uh, dine out and uh, we're being pretty well supported at both restaurants. Um, uh, particularly uh, Colterra, this is going pretty steady, um, steadily very busy and then Colterra I think is getting a good balance off of what's um, the success of salt. I think people are understanding that Colterra is out there and uh, so it's pretty exciting. I think uh, we've got a really great staff and things are moving forward in a positive way. Um, in addition to that, um, one of the things that I'm really trying to support, one of the things that uh, try to support the community and give back and there's a um, there's a chef in town who has started the school food project and it's something that I'm really excited about uh, getting involved with and one of the things that uh, in one of our brainstorming sessions that uh, we decided to do is to uh, I'm going to try and recruit some of our local chefs um, to take over a school and go cook uh, with the school lunch program and Ann uh, in those schools that the participation isn't quite as high because I think school food has kind of a maybe a bad uh, you know, people have some bad memories of school lunch and uh, I, I don't think people really understand fully what Ann's trying to do and um, she's got a great website it's uh, chefann.com and she's just trying to change the way kids are eating food so I'm in the process of um, recruiting a bunch of chefs my chefs at uh, Salt and Colterra included um, to do this project where we're going to go and we're going to actually demonstrate how to cook food uh, for the kids at the school and then try to explain where food comes from and try and recapture some of our uh, culinary uh, heritage. So that's a pretty exciting thing that we're doing. And um, in addition to that, we're doing a, a little uh, slow food uh, honor thy farmer event out in Lyons that's coming up on the 17th. Um, so if people want to join the slow food movement, that's a really great kickoff event and they can come support that event and support slow food and um, yeah that's having children and providing for them you start to see the world through different eyes and it's been really important to teach my kids about food and how you plant a seed in the ground and how it comes up and how you can grow food and then you know how to prepare food and they cook with me a lot at home and I want to share that gift that I have with my children and I give my children I want to share that with some of the other kids um, that don't have a chef or a dad and I'm really passionate about showing kids that there is a different choice you know that that I think it's sad how how uh, corporations market to the little kids and get them eating the happy meals and get them how they really market towards the little kids and serve them this food that's just devoid of any nutrients and I really value what chef Ann is doing because her ideology is exactly the same as ours at both restaurants and you know about where food comes from and how you can prepare seasonal local food you know it doesn't always have to be organic but if it can be natural that's better and you know that's what's really important to me so my ability to share that um, you know and, and, and have the ability to influence kids in the way that they consume food and their relationship with food I think is a really wonderful opportunity for me in my life and uh, I get a chance to do that. So.